The reason why I grabbed these is because they are such a good deal right now. What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel TCG Funhouse where we open up Pokemon cards and we are going to go haul some Pokemon cards. It's been a while guys since we've made it out into the wilderness to see what kind of Pokemon products we can find. So I'm hoping with us taking a little bit of a break at visiting all of our retailers that they could have restocked. Maybe put some new, cool, unique Pokemon items on the shelves, guys. We're going to be looking for toys, cards, uh, I don't know, plushies, movies, Funkos, whatever they have out there, guys. We're looking for cool, unique Pokemon items. Uh, also, Darkness Ablaze has officially released, so we're going to be trying to find some of the different types of Darkness Ablaze products you can find. Plus, of course, you got to look for those key, unique items, mystery power boxes, anything hidden fates, uh, and then they also have some evolutions, Pokemon XY ETBs have hit the Walmart shelves. So we're going to be searching for all that kind of stuff, guys. This is a family affair. Come along with us on this journey, and let's go find some Pokemon goodies. Let's go. Alright guys, we have made it to the first stop of our trip. We are hitting this Walmart first because there is Evolutions ETBs out in the wild, guys. Ugh, keeps falling down. Hey, we need to go ahead and go find some because Sealed Collection is calling. Let's go check it out. You ready, Brady? Yeah. Woo! What we're here for, guys. I'm just kidding. Here we are. Go ahead, Brady. You're good. So what we've noticed, guys, is that usually the Evolutions ETBs, that if everybody stands right in front of the camera, are in the back of the store in the toy section. But these guys, these two-pack blisters, are also a good buy right now in the three packs. I actually have not been able to find many three pack blisters because everyone's been packing the two first. So we're gonna start digging through some of these blister packs. Cute little Growlithe plush there for sure. But uh, tune into the end of the video to see what we find because we're probably gonna open up some stuff as well. All right, guys, we made it back to the Pokemon section. It looks like they have not redone this particular Walmart yet. They got a couple of the new cool plushies out. These two packs with the pens are still here, which is a, not a bad buy, but two for 10 bucks doesn't seem like a good deal. And they do have the new Darkness Blaze collection there. So, uh, all right, let's go to the next Walmart and see if they have one. All right, guys, I know it's not a Pokemon product, but I was just shopping around and I found these large book bins that come in about a jillion different colors. And if you check, take a look here real quick, they actually fit the single pack blisters perfectly. So I'm gonna grab a couple of these for my storage inside of my studio to create some space. All right, guys, we just left the Dollar Tree and we got some packs. Logan, you gonna open it up? Break into that thing, let's see what you get. Brady, open yours too, show us. As you guys know, Logan is the king of Dollar Tree card pulls. Whatever a real brick and eight has to say, Logan is the master. So let's see what he gets. Hand him over. What'd you Need get, Brady? Need a Reno. Volaby. Volaby. And a Pidgey. You throw the coupon away? I did. Alright, what'd you get? Show me. We gotta show the folks. We got Vulpix, Joltik, and a Nidorino as well. Double on the Nidorino, guys. All right, guys, stop number two of the journey. We're going to be going into what Logan calls the red one. Usually get some good stuff here, guys. Let's go hidden face hunting. guys made it to the first card section here doesn't really look like they get picked through very much here so I got a pretty decent selection go ahead and ooh, look at that someone's hiding an ETB back there oh yeah all 
All right, guys, let's see what we can find. All right, guys, we made our way to the toy section here for the Pokemon cards. Let's go ahead and start digging through. Got a lot of tens to dig through, boxes. Let's check it out. All right, you guys always know you got to check the Funko Pop area back in pop culture because this Target would have been a huge hit. Got Squirtle, Eevee, and it's also carrying the brand new Vulpix up there. So if I was looking to increase my Jumbo Pokemon Pop collection, this would have been a huge hit for sure. Always check your pop area, guys. All right, guys, another cool spot to try to find Pokemon goodies, especially if you're looking to expand a studio or something like that. Over here in the Nintendo area, some cool mugs, little little journal over there. But look at this, guys, they're on sale. So I think I'm gonna pick up these three for my studio, brand new. All right, guys, we made it to the second Walmart of the trip right across the street from the Target that we were just at. Uh, we parked right, we thought we had a really good spot, but this door is closed. So now we have to go walk a mile to the other entrance and it's sprinkling. And We're gonna I'm get wet. Too. You what? I'm here too. No, you're not. All right, guys, looks like they were hiding the card section over here in the corner. Very, very small card section at this Walmart. Very small. Uh, so let's go ahead and we're gonna start digging in. They got a lot of really cool plushes. Different types of boxes here, guys. Once again, sports cards are gone like hotcakes. You can never find those anymore. They got a so, bunch of true steel. Got the new true steel boxes. They got these ultra prisms, guys. Still a good pickup. Pull rates on them have been hit or miss, but once they're gone, they're gone, guys. I don't know if they're gonna reprint them after this. So if you can find some Ultra Prism, I would suggest picking them up. Uh, those are Walmart exclusive blisters. You won't find those anywhere else but Walmart. So if you're looking for those, grab them. But we're gonna keep diving in. We're gonna start reaching in the back and looking around. Let's go. There's one more thing on the Yu-Gi-Oh front here, guys. They have been putting them out some more Tomb Chaos, but be a little bit weary, guys, because these are not first edition. They have officially been releasing the unlimited Yu-Gi-Oh! Toon Chaos. The value is about cut in half as opposed to the first edition uh, blister booster boxes, packs, excuse me, that you can find. Uh, so just beware if you still want them, good pickup. If you're looking to sell or flip, not the unlimited. All right, guys, we found another Books a Million that we haven't been to yet. We got some cool, unique items last time, so we're gonna pop in there and see if we can find some cool, unique toys, collectibles, something like that. Let's check it out. All right, guys, we made it down to the Pokemon toy section at Barnes & Noble. Look at all these freaking toys and all these books, guys. This is absolutely awesome. This is a sweet Dragonite figure. I might be grabbing that. A Piyukamuku? I don't even know what ball it's in, netball. Piyukamuku and a netball. So we're gonna continue to look around, see if maybe they have cards here. Oh, look at that, guys. Flareon, Jolteon, those are awesome. All right. Let's keep checking it out. All right, guys, we made it over to the sale section. You should always check your sale section because here is some old school Pokemon figures here, guys. We have a Superior with the Pokeball, and then we have a Meginium as well. So I think I'm gonna pick both of these up for my collection because you just don't see these in stores anymore. These are normally $19.99 on sale for $9.99, 2015. So we're definitely not gonna find those anywhere other stores. Awesome, Rotom. There's an Ash and a Pikachu there too. We might pick that up. Let's see what else we can find, guys. Look at these guys. I'm telling you guys, Books a Million and Barnes and Noble are one of the places to go. Look at this clearance, pop sockets, guys. Bulbasaur, Pikachu, Squirtle, Pokeball. 
like they have a ton of them half off 750 guys we actually gave a couple of away a couple of these away on our channel earlier this year but on clearance that's a good buy all right guys we are back from doing the pokemon hauling guys we went to tons of retailers and it was so much fun this is my favorite series to do i get to spend time with my family find some crazy cool unique pokemon products and then whatever we can find TCG wise and maybe open some stuff up. So let me show you guys what we came up with while we were out and about this week. All right. So this is episode number five of the Pokemon hauls. And this is the first time I grabbed these three card blisters from Walmart guys on Pokemon Sword and Shield Rebel Clash. I got the Gengar and the Obstagoon. These are specifically for my sealed collection guys. I have seen these for a long time was really hard to find ones that were in really good condition when I get when I get blisters for my sealed collection. I want to make sure they're in great condition. So these look fantastic. So I picked up these two blisters, guys. Lucario coin, really, really nice. Been keeping my eye on those for a long time. Eventually, they're going to be gone, so I wanted to grab them before they were completely eliminated. Back on the check lane blister train, guys, we did visit a new target that we haven't been to yet. So, of course, one, two... Three, four, five, and six, guys. Six team up blister packs, guys. They are all the Raichu blister packs. The Gyarados ones are a little bit more rare and they sell for a little bit more online. But anytime you can find these Pokemon uh, Sun and Moon team up blisters, guys, you need to grab them. The two pack, they're the two card blisters sell for significantly more than the single pack ones guys so this is about $15 on ebay you can still buy them for $5 at your local targets when you can find them in the check lane these are target exclusive blisters so you can't find these at walmart uh, like you can the single card blisters that have pikachu and mimikyu on them so if you see these guys make sure you pick them up the gyarados ones sell almost instantly these still sell but they take a little bit longer. The Gyarados ones, as soon as I put them up, they are gone. So here is six more blisters that will be going up on my eBay to help fund the channel. Put those over here. Um, speaking of blisters, I found some really good stuff, guys, on the Yu-Gi-Oh! front. So I ended up with one, two. Uh, these are actually a little bit different. So these are the Blue Eyes Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon reprints from 2015 i think 2017 so those are the reprints from 2017 english edition i got these two from walmart which just have one pack inside and then i got these blisters also from walmart the legend of blue eyes that come with one booster pack two rares and eight commons i consistently can sell these online for 14.99 just like the team up blisters so every time i see them i grab them they're not $5 like the blisters for Pokemon are. They are $8, but it still is basically double the flip because usually the seller or the buyer will also pay shipping on it. So if you can find the Legend of Blue Eyes blisters, make sure you guys grab them. They're a good investment piece, and they're a good flipping piece as well. So I found these guys. You'll see in the video, I found these really cool, I think they were called book holders or folder holders, something like that. These are really cool guys. I got these at Walmart. They were $2.00. I posted them on my Instagram and Twitter the day that I went hauling because they are perfect, guys. So let me show you what they look like when they are full of sleeved blisters. So here's some of my Checkline blister collection right there. It's probably too big to fit on the card cam. But look how seamlessly they fit inside there, guys. They literally fit like a freaking glove. Um, I might go back and get more because I'm sure when it's not returned back to school, you're not going to be able to find these. But they fit the single pack check lane blisters like a glove. They're perfect, guys. So if you're looking for a way to store check lane blisters or even sleeved individual booster packs, they are perfect, guys. So go grab some of those for your storage. Moving on, we found some... Figures, guys. So I've been really big into the figure game lately, really since doing this Pokemon haul series. I never really collected the Pokemon figures before I started hauling. And then now it's just like, I got to grab these things because they are really cool. And even like the older XY um, Pokemon figures are starting to creep up in price, guys. The black and white figures, like you're hard pressed to find them for under $65, $70 now when you can buy them for $7, $8 back when they were new. 
So I found a Ivysaur and a Charmeleon for $6.99 each. I also found clearance at the GameStop, uh, GameStop guys, two of the Lapras figures here. Um, and these were only $4. These normally retail for $12.99. I got them at the GameStop clearance $4. So big shout out to Mythic Cards who actually sent me one of these. Um, as just like a big support to the channel and because he's just an awesome guy. Um, so big shout out to you guys, but I found two of them Mythic Cards. So let me know. Let me know. You want yours back, man? You want yours back or should I give it away? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. And then this thing is absolutely awesome. Dragonite, what is this, 12-inch? Dragonite 12-inch battle figure, guys. This thing is so freaking cool. It doesn't even fit on the camera, y'all. doesn't even fit on the camera. I found this at Books A Million. Dragonite 12-inch battle figure, guys. I haven't seen this in a very long time. There's also a Gyarados 12-inch figure that I would love to get my hands on. So if you guys know where I can get a Gyarados one that's not super overpriced, I've been looking on Amazon and stuff like that. The Gyarados is a little too expensive. I mean, it's it's not a lot, but I don't want to fork over that much for it. So, um, so those are the figures that we got. I forgot to pull these over, but you guys know I grabbed a couple of these. Um, so four figures, five figures... And then these here, I got these more figures, actually. I forgot about those, but I also grabbed some of these. Ugh. Okay, so I found these at Books A Million as well, guys. And these are kind of like vintage figures. They're not vintage per se, uh, but these are definitely black and white. Let's see if we can, not black and white, uh, X and Y. Let's figure out the year here. Uh, these are made by Tomei. Tommy, Tomei, 2015. So these are 2015, guys. I found a Meginium, and I found a Superior in the clearance area, guys. So these things were super affordable, um, and they're in pretty good shape. I mean, the boxes have some scuffs and scrapes on them, but I mean, I'm assuming they've been at that Books A Million for five years. So with them being at the Books A Million for five years, this is a cool find. They actually had two, I think it was two Meginiums. Um, but I got the ones that look the best. So these will be going into my sealed collection as well for figures, guys. I thought that was a really cool find and super happy about that. Uh, so I'm going to show you the last couple things I got because uh, I'm going to open these up. So normally I always open up what I show you guys last. Bam! Right there, guys. Darkness Ablaze Double Pack Blisters. And the reason why, the reason why I grabbed these is because they are such a good deal right now. Eventually, I'm going to grab a couple for my sealed collection, but as of right now, I'm just going to keep opening them because two reasons. One, the pull rates have been fantastic. So we've had the most luck from these two-pack blisters than we had from any other Darkness Ablaze product. I'll start opening them while I talk. Um, oh, I about dropped it and then punched my camera because I almost dropped it on the floor. So sorry about that, guys. Super professional. This is going amazingly. Trash corner, trash corner, trash corner. Um, so we're going to be breaking into two Darkness Ablaze packs and two Sword and Shield packs, guys. Um, but yeah. So, and then I also wanted to grab a couple for my sealed collection, but I haven't yet. Because eventually they're going to go away. I think that this is only a release thing. I don't think that these are going to consistently be put out by the vendors and distributors. And I suggest going to your local Target or Walmart right now because you can still find them pretty prevalent. Uh, we were at Target earlier today, which is not the day we went hauling, and still found three full rows of these two-pack blisters, guys. So um, go grab them now because eventually they are going to go away. They're just going to be gone. So pretty much every time I go to the store, I just grab like one or two, stockpile them, put them away, um, and or open them on my Pokemon Hauls video. Sword and Shield code card. Let's see what we can get, guys. Hopefully me saying that they've been having good pull rates... This doesn't make me a liar. Double, Quillfish, Hoot Hoot, Penchurchin, Vulpix, Nicket, Baltoy, Joltik, and a Caldeo V-Card, guys. So already, right out the gate, guys, I am not a liar. Where's my sleeves? Uh, not a liar. V-Card in the very first pack. Yes, it's just a Caldeo. It's a couple dollar card. But I'm telling you guys, the pull rates in these two-pack blisters 
are amazing. Let's go ahead and break into the other Sword and Shield pack. Um, and then we'll get into the Darkness Ablaze. Let me know in the comments, guys, what do you think of the Pokemon Hall series? We love doing this series, guys. It is so much fun. The one downside is I spend a lot of money when we do this. Normally, I wouldn't go out and spend the money on this type of stuff. Sudan! Um, go check out Sudan. Big shout out. Um, normally, we wouldn't spend our money on this kind of stuff. But for the video, it's like an excuse to spend money. Scorch is the rare. Um, so that always hurts my pocket. But I love it. I get so much cool stuff. Love it, love it, love it. All right, guys. Two more packs here, Darkness Ablaze, Sent to Scorch pack art. You guys know we always give away our code cards, so make sure you let us know in the comments below what you guys get when you open the TCG online. Code cards. All right. Darkness Energy. Bird Keeper. Steeny. 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 Ferret. Gothida. Nicket, Shelmet, Larvitar, Grimer, Simipore Reverse. Oh, yes, baby! Hyper Rare Rainbow Salamance VMAX, guys. This is only the second rainbow card that we have pulled from Darkness Ablaze, guys. And guess what? They were both from two pack blisters. We did a pack battle with the Broke Nerd where we broke into some of these as well. And we pulled the Rainbow Rare Butterfree. Rainbow Salamance V Max card, guys. These two pack blisters are the bee's knees, guys. Go and get them. Seriously. What a freaking pull. This is this is just it's crazy right now. Alright, we got one more pack still. Ah, dropping cards. Ugh. One more pack, guys. Grim Snarl. V Max pack art. What a freaking pull. Super stoked. Super happy about that, guys. We needed it. Our Darkness of Blaze openings were pretty bad. And then we started breaking into these two-pack blisters, and all the luck has changed. All right. Fire Energy. Ferret. Flaffy. Ariranios. Pansage. Golet. Vanilla Ice Cream. Teddy Ursa. Soul Rock. And a Hydragon Regular Rare. So I will take that though, guys. We opened up. So the double pack blisters are only four dollars. So they're basically buy one get one free um, on the cards or on the packs. And the pull rates have been fantastic. So Salamance V Max Rainbow, guys, take a look at that beauty. That thing is focusing on Blastoise. Still focusing on Blastoise. Salamence VMAX Rainbow, guys. Awesome, awesome card. And it is still focusing on Blastoise. Uh, uh, no, yes, maybe so. Uh, okay, enough of that. Keldeo V also, guys, from Sword and Shield Base. All right, guys, so that is the Pokemon Halls video, guys. Let us know in the comments below what you guys think of the series. This is the fifth episode that we've done for it. We love shooting it. Make sure you guys enter for a chance to win the brand new September giveaway, which is two Pokemon Quest figures, guys, Snorlax and Gengar. So once again, we will have two winners in the month of September. You must be a subscriber. Hit the thumbs up on this video and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of my hauls today. I think I got some really cool stuff. Let me know what your favorite part that I hauled was. Did you like the figures? Did you like the blisters, the little storage uh, tips? Let me know, guys. I will see you in our next video. We open up Pokemon cards every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 2 p.m. here on YouTube. And every Tuesday and Friday night at 9, we live stream Pokemon Sword and Shield on the Nintendo Switch. So come hang out with us, guys. Hit that bell.